Hey guys, I haven't posted anything on YouTube in a while because I've been doing Arcade 1-Up posts recently and I haven't got any new Arcade 1-Ups. So I figured I'd give you a tour of my current game room uh, just in case you're interested. Uh, this here is my full-size Mortal Kombat 4 arcade machine. I have, uh, right now I have Mortal Kombat 3 in it. I do have Mortal Kombat 2 as well, the circuit board. I bought all of them off eBay except for the machine itself, I got from Aladdin's Castle many years ago when Mortal Kombat 4 was still in the arcades, just coming out. Uh, or not just coming out, but when they were just starting to replace them with other machines. So I got it pretty cheap, especially compared to what it goes for today. And then I bought two and three circuit boards online, because those are the ones I wanted more, and I put three in it right now, and I changed the topper out, which I did fix the topper because it didn't work, it didn't light up, so I have that. Um, and then I'm just going to go around the room right here. <clears throat> I do have some classic posters in this room, but I have, this is my DJ gear right now because I do DJ and I've been doing on Twitch with the pandemic, but it's sitting on top of my arcade one up, uh, Pac-Man machine, which I have a video, which I'll link to in the description, um, where I set that up and test that out. Uh, pretty great. I have my speakers for my DJ stuff and if I have to take those somewhere. I do have plenty of room over here, as you can see. So my next arcade one up is gonna be probably the Sega cabinet when that comes out. Um, but right now I have the Rampage cabinet here. Uh, I do also have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cabinet set up in here. Uh, the floor, I just redid the floor. So the floor used to be carpet in here and I ripped all that out and redid it. So it looks much better. Uh, I'll give you a step back here and give you an overall view of the whole room. So you can see it's more of a, it's not a, you know, classic arcade floor, but it's much better for my house. Then I do have the Pac-Man, or the, not Pac-Man, sorry. I just talking about that, but I have the Centipede Arcade 1-Up, um, which I've had. And then the Final Fight, which was my first arcade 1-Up that I got. And then next to that, I have uh, a couple more posters up here on the wall. One of those, the Arcade 1-Up uh, lights, which are not lit up currently. Then I have a classic TV that I've had for many years, so my CRT that I use for all the classic games systems, which I have the Sega Genesis with the Sega CD, the original one. A friend of mine just gave me the Mega Drive converter. I don't have any Mega Drive games yet. Uh, I have the Nintendo, the original Nintendo Entertainment System, the mini you can see there. I do have these cool coasters, which I use when I have parties um, that are just like old Nintendo game looking. Then I have the Dreamcast and the Super Nintendo, as well as the minis for the Genesis and Super Nintendo, the PlayStation 1 and 64, PlayStation 2, TurboGrafx-16, which a friend of mine just gave me, and the uh, PS3 uh, Slim. The TurboGrafx I never had when I was a kid, so it's pretty cool. Been messing around with that a bit. Over here I have the PlayStation Mini, all the controllers, some games, I do have some upstairs in a box, but these are, <clears throat> excuse me, kind of the, the ones I might play on this. And then I have it all hooked up to this Switch, so I can like right now it's the Nintendo with Zelda. Switch over to the Super Nintendo, I have the Zelda one in there as well. So I can easily have them all hooked up at the same time. Uh, you know, keep everything going. Got a cool Pac-Man light, which is in the box still, but it's pretty cool. And uh, that's really all I have in my arcade room. Uh, the games, I really am not super collecting games or anything like that for all these old systems. Uh, just getting a couple here and there that I really remember and really like. Uh, there's a few more I probably want to get, especially now that I got the Mega Drive converter as well as the Turbo Graphics. Uh, there's one or two more games for each of, for the Turbo Graphics I want to get, but they're expensive, so who knows when I'll get those. And then a couple Mega Drive games I want to get. I want to get the original Alex Kid, which I remember quite a bit. Um, so pretty cool. Uh, if you're interested in my DJ gear, I have a laptop with, uh, a Newmark NS6 II controller. So that's kind of what I use when I DJ, um, out and about in Chicago usually, but right now I'm just doing it on Twitch. So, and actually I'll put my Twitch link in the comments. Sometimes I do my PS4 on there. I have a PS4 looking at getting a PS5. That's in the other room hooked up to my big TV because that's what I play typically, but uh, everything else is in here. Mortal Kombat, probably my worth the most money out of everything I have in this collection. So, 
because I know those full-size arcades can go for a, a pretty penny sometimes. So just a quick video to post something on my channel. Like I said, if you've seen some of my Arcade 1UP uh, YouTube videos, I just kind of post random stuff. Um, but hopefully the Sega cabinet will come out soon and I'll have a boxing unboxing video and assembly video and review of that. So thanks for watching.